questions. So I'm going to ask a question, and this is from the video that was done by our coach Edwina, which was why a high value feminine woman does not give an ultimatum. Okay. I love that title. Mm. And so Ashaya, Aya Shia Verlury. Oh goodness. Where'd you come up with these, with, with these, with these handles, ladies? Tongue twisters. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm a simple girl, but I apologize for, for not getting that right. Three, four, zero, um, asks, um, if she, she's given an ultimatum, I've given an ultimatum. If you've given an ultimatum in a relationship, can you come back from it? Mm -hmm. Can it still be saved? What are your thoughts, Coach Yvonne? My hey, Swans. I have some incredibly exciting news. I'm going to be giving away three exclusive products, absolutely free, each designed to help bring your dream partner into your life. If you sign up to the email list, you'll receive six emails over six days and tucked within three of these emails will be your special gifts. It's all just a click away. So press the link, sign up and let's embark on this journey together and remember Remember, above all, you are loved. My thoughts are on this one where we saw the question. I thought it was, number one, I applaud you for, um, you know, letting us know that you might have done this. <laughs> and, you know, what's the, you know, you may be waiting for the outcome. Right. But because we don't have a lot of information about what the ultimatum is yeah what i'm going to start off by saying is here's the thing i believe that any relationship can be saved right. doesn't matter what it is the person have done right. whether they've cheated if it happens to be um do you know that it they were violent mm -hmm. or whatever the situation is mm. any relationship can be saved however mm -hmm. both parties have to want it and both parties need to be prepared to do the work so that the relationship can be saved. Absolutely. So that's the first thing. Right. The second thing is, because we don't know what the ultimatum is, it depends on what the ultimatum is that you gave him. Right. Is it that he was seeing somebody else and you said the ultimatum is, if you don't stop <laughs> seeing her, then it right. is over. Right, right. If that's the ultimatum that he's you, that you uh, gave him right. and he thinks, but I like her though. <laughs> and you say, you know what, I'm not going to, he says, forget it, I'm going to stay with her. Then you've got to follow through. Right. And, you know, if you say that you're going to leave, then you're going to have to leave. But if you cannot give somebody an ultimatum in a relationship and expect to get your own way in it, it's not the way, especially for a black swan to communicate. Remember, we're feminine. We are the ones that in a home or in a relationship, we actually run it. Men take the lead from us in the way in which we want to be treated because you've worked on yourself. You know your likes and your dislikes. You've set your boundaries, he knows them. Right. And so if you're living up to your end of how you presented when you first met, when you first started dating and the two of you got together because of it, then you've got to continue the, that way and if you have changed in you know certain ways unless you've changed for the better then great he should also change with you yes. but if you haven't and you whatever has gone wrong and you think okay what do I do here then there's going to be difficulty ahead. <laughs> if it's something that you're asking about can the relationship be saved whatever it is you gave this ultimatum. It could have been a knee-jerk reaction and right. you have given it. And here's the thing, women. Once you've said it, you can't unsay it. <laughs> and sometimes it doesn't matter how much you apologize. Right. From now until the cows come home, you, you can't unsay it. He right. can't unhear it. Right. And so it could be a case of where he says, you know what, don't care, do what you you think is going to be right. right. I'm not changing, I'm not right. doing. Or you could then take the stand and say, you know what, I'm a black swan. I shouldn't have done it. I've apologized. There's not much more I can do other than doing that. 
then what you've got to do is show him the very, very, very best version of you to let him know that, you know what, I've made a mistake. I'm sorry for the mistake I've made. Let us try and communicate. Let us communicate our wants, our needs, our desires, and let's see if we can continue on the road that we're going in rebuilding right. the relationship to, in a stronger and a better place because communication at the end of the day from both of you is going to play an important part here. So I'm, I'm hoping that the... Um, communication between the two of them have not come to a standstill where he's here, she's there and, you know, nothing is going on and that they are still able to communicate and she can demonstrate by her actions because actions speak louder than words that, you know what, I'm really sorry and I shouldn't have done it, but don't grovel. <laughs> Never grovel. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's... um. I agree. And I think, you know, that comes after, you know, getting to that point where you can say, you know what, oops, I made a mistake. That comes with a lot of maturity. Yes. But it, the question itself is so loaded with foolishness. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I shouldn't judge. Okay, let's, let's rephrase that. <laughs> Ultimatums Inexperienced. are... Experienced inexperienced thank you coach Yvonne you see that's why I need her because you know me I, I cut to the I you know <laughs> go straight for the jaguar um let's be clear about certain things first so that those people who think ultimatums are the best way forward yes. uh, can learn before we make this mistake where we're trying to save a relationship after we've issued mm. an ultimatum an ultimatum is classified as violent communication yes, yes. Whenever we communicate to another person with an ultimatum, we are being violent. And because we think violence is just physical, violent communication is enforcing your will over and above the will of the other person. And violent communication is, if you won't do it my way, I'm yes. out. If you don't, uh, I'm gonna, you threaten with abandonment, you're threatening with neglect, you are threatening with consequences, and you are uh, making the other person feel compelled to give you something that is not coming from their heart. All of that uh, kind of communication style, which mm -hmm. we talk about in How to Talk to Men So They Listen, in that masterclass, I teach you how to communicate to men mm. so they listen. Yes. <laughs> it's very aptly named, yes. isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I talk about nonviolent communication with men. Now, here's the thing. If you give a man ultimatum, an ultimatum, it means that you have terrible boundaries. Yes. You've got to this point because you didn't set boundaries well. And women think they know how to set boundaries, but they don't. And if they are setting boundaries, they're doing it in a violent way, in an aggressive way. Men don't take kindly to violence. Here's the thing. You can trigger protection in a man or you can, you can trigger fight in yes. a man. Whatever you speak to in a man, you will get back from him. Yes. If you speak to a fool, to the fool in him, you get a fool back. Mm -hmm. If you speak to the king in him, yes. you will get a king back. Um, it goes both ways, but ma mainly with men. Ultimatums are the highest form of disrespect and it's violent. And so a man is going to make you stand upon your ultimatum. Yes. Let me tell you something about men. You tell him, if you don't do this, I'm... He will not budge. Yeah. He will make you eat that, mm -hmm. <laughs> sleep in that, and follow through with that. Because men respect respect actions. Yes. They don't respect chit chat, chit chat. So yeah. you're behind better follow through. Mm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be telling him, if you don't marry me, I'm out of here. And then because that's that's usually what ultimatums are. If you yes. don't commit to me, yes. if you don't, even if it's if you don't stop seeing her, whatever the story is. <laughs> If a man does anything that would make you feel that it is necessary mm. to give him an ultimatum, what you're ultimately saying is that a boundary has been violated or a need has not been met. If a, if a boundary has been violated, let's talk about the boundary and let's reset things. Whether that boundary is he went and cheated or whether that boundary is, you know, he won't marry you and it's 25 years down the line. <laughs> <laughs> right? 
let's have conversations <laughs> around um you know whether that boundary is violence mm-hmm. physical violence like you said yes let's have a conversation about that let's say to this is loving community so violent communication is if you don't do what i say you are going to get a loving healthy communication is you have every right mm-hmm. to do that mm-hmm. say that be that it makes me feel when you do that say that i feel this way i'm going to own my emotions around this mm-hmm. what do you think we can do to fix it yes that's mature communication it's mature communication 100% and that only works if you're speaking with a masculine man 100% if your man is a feminine with feminine <laughs> energy oh dear. you're on your own <laughs> we're going to because Houston, we're going to bitch we have a problem yes. because what's going to happen is he's going to come out with all guns blazing 100% and you better take cover yes. you know because it's not going to work and a mature man yes a mature man well we're hoping that we're out here choosing mature men right because uh, yeah there's a lot of immaturity but a mature man is going a mature masculine man like you said because men generally feel responsible for women's emotions mm-hmm. and men are happier they love making the woman they've chosen happy mm-hmm. so if you can give him the road map to making you happy yes. he's honestly going to be okay with that If he never loved you in the first place and you are the placeholder <laughs> for where he's going to find his real wife. <laughs> okay, maybe they didn't hear me saying that because I was laughing, but if you're just the one he's who's holding the space for the real wife, he's not going to listen to you because mm-hmm. your emotions don't matter to him. Um he might pacify you with a little something so you don't go away because mm-hmm. he doesn't want to lose his sexual stability. Yes. Um if you're not uh the woman that he chose because his heart loves you're going to have a hard time if he's a feminine energy guy mm. he, uh and like i said remember feminine energy men they're not stable yes. and they live in their emotions he's going to feel he's not going to be able to handle your emotions mm. because he can't create the f- masculine frame for mm. you because your emotions and accusation yes on his manhood yes. and so his emotions will come out for for mm. blast and then you have these toxic fights have you had those couples doing rah, yes. rah, 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 yes. rah, rah, rah. it's because the masculine has failed to create boundaries and containment hey swans i have some incredibly exciting news i'm going to be giving away three exclusive products absolutely free each designed to help bring your dream partner into your life if you sign up to the email list you'll receive six emails over six days and tucked within three of these emails will be your special gifts it's all just a click away so press the link sign up and let's embark on this journey together and remember above all you are loved mm. and in a home where peace prevails it is because the man not the woman now a woman must must mat- a mature woman is a habitation of peace mm. but even if she's not mature and she's with a masculine man who's mature he's able to create containment yes in the form of I'm I'm not comfortable with you speaking. I don't like it when you speak to me that way. So maybe we should end this conversation yeah. and come back to it later. This mm-hmm. is how a leader leads, right? And because many men again don't know how to lead a family even themselves because they didn't have fathers for the most of them or they're being led or fathered by the internet, which mm-hmm. is disastrous. Yes. So in that instance, in this instance with this young lady, she's failed to communicate the little foxes the bible says it's the little foxes the little foxes mm. that spoil the vine mm. when we let transgressions build up mm. over time because we don't know how to communicate in a loving way we end up at a place where we're giving an ultimatum yes the bottom line is this never is you an ultimatum if you can just walk away yes we we, we don't honestly yeah. need to disrespect each other yeah. we don't even need the drama we don't yes. need the violence we can just simply say especially if, if we've been communicating over a period of time mm. this is not working for me yeah it's really been good knowing you and i don't want us to end in a toxic situation 
And I want you to have every right to explore your options, mm. right? So I found a place to, if you're living together, I found a place and I'm moving out. We don't need the drama. Yes. As a thing with, with us is we've, especially women, men too now because they're in their feminine. It used to be a woman's game, but there are a lot of men who are very chaotic because yes. they're in that feminine energy. But I want to normalize what I call sweet goodbyes. We don't have to wait for drama. We don't have to wait for toxicity. We don't have to wait for violations. If I've communicated that that doesn't work for me in a loving way and your partner persists, male or female, an ultimatum is a waste of time. It is simply violence. Mm. We don't do that. And it's also an act of desperation. You don't want to go. You just want him to behave differently. Mm. You don't want to follow through. You just want to... Put fear in him. How are you going to have a loving relationship that has fear on the throne? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. A man can't love you because he's afraid to lose you. He has to love you because he does. Yeah. I, you know? It's the... Um, podcast. Podcast. <laughs> <laughs> in previous podcasts that uh, we've done regarding communication is so, 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 so important. Right. And when you speak about um, how to talk to men so that they will listen... It is not to um, for women to think, oh, they're saying that I don't know how to talk to a man. No, we're not saying that you don't know how to talk to a man because there are two things that we need to do here. Are you a stay-at-home mom who feels like you've lost touch with the marketplace but still feel you have much to offer? If you've ever felt sidelined by your parenting duties but you know deep down that you have valuable insights to share in the relationship space, then listen up. I've got the opportunity for you. You're the perfect candidate for our Black Swan Relationship Coaching Certification. Join us in harnessing your unique experiences as a stay-at-home mom to make a difference in the world of relationships. And the best part, you can do it all from the comfort of your own home, fitting it around your parenting responsibilities. Whether you're offering support to other moms, helping couples navigate challenging, or simply sharing your wisdom on building strong family bonds, our course is here to empower you. In this course, you will learn the art of relationships Relationship coaching, all while working from home and balancing your parenting duties. And we'll provide you with the tools and support you need to make a meaningful impact without sacrificing precious time with your family. So if you're ready to reignite your sense of purpose and make a difference in the lives of others, join us. Enroll in our Black Swan Relationship Coaching Certification today and let's create stronger healthier relationships together visit our website link below or somewhere around this video to learn more don't let your talents go to waste you can make a difference from home one it's the tone in which you use when you're conveying what it is that you're doing because we hear ourselves in our head it's the person sitting opposite us that hears the tone and feels the weight of what is communicated to them. And as you said about the violence of um, an ultimatum, right. that's what the person felt when you did that. Now, what we teach women is, is not to fight, but to stroke. It's not to, you know, to go for the jacket. To strike, but, but to stroke. strike. That's your thing. Yes. <laughs> Don't stro strike him, Don't stroke, stroke him. him. <laughs> you, because I'm, um, my mother taught me from a young age that you catch the fly with honey, mm. never with vinegar. Mm. So if you want somebody to do something for you, then guess what? You use the honey mm. because he's going to come to you. And so you don't need to stroke. Am I saying that all men know how to do this? They will if we continue doing it enough. That's because right. learning has to begin somewhere. And because of the way in which people communicate nowadays and how people are brought up. It's different to the way back when our parents were being brought up to today because right. we said earlier, it's TV that's doing it for most right. of them. Most um, households are one parent household that is mum is working and trying to take care of the children. The children are bringing themselves up. 
the TV's bringing the children up, the government's bringing the children up, everybody's doing it <laughs> but the parents. Right. So something is going to go awry with the child. Mm. But there is nothing to say that the child cannot still learn. The adult right. now can still the learn. The adult can learn. They, we can, we learn. can learn. And so the way in which we do that is to get on the Black Swan Relationship Academy website and look at the different courses that we've got there because Absolutely. all the courses that are there, everything that we've spoken about, um, you know, uh, the today, hours and hours of hours, training. Yes. <laughs> uh, and, you know, the beauty of that is it's things that you you don't have to join a class. You can just sit and listen to it whilst you're cooking, doing whatever it is you're doing at home. You can listen to it and listen and pay attention. Do the work that is necessary and you will know how to stroke and not strike mm. because at the end of the day, you're going to be the one that benefits from it. You're the one that's going to go away with a relationship that works. And right. if it's a friend who said, tell him this and you do it, shame on her. And shame on you for listening. <laughs> right. Listen to the people who know That's right. what they're talking about. And so that, you know, it will go well with you and in your relationship. 100%. The amount of relationships that are destroyed, especially amongst women, I don't know what's wrong with us. We just keep submitting our relationships to other women. Yes. And uh, to the point where some of our husbands no longer trust us. <laughs> because... Everything that happens in this house is known by Jane, Sally, yes. Sue, and yes. you know. And I think I've got a video on this on this channel um, where I talk about a man needing to trust you. Some men are living with women they just don't trust mm. because you you run. Nothing comes authentically from you. And you know, one of the things that women need to understand is that we're very jealous and competitive when it comes to men. I know we like to do girl power, women united. <laughs> <laughs> but trust me, some of this advice I have that's out here is to destroy your relationship. Yes. You know, I'm yes. sorry to have to break yes. it to you, girl, but some of this advice you're getting from your girlfriends is to destroy your relationship. And your husband married you, your partner is dating you, mm. not you and your friends. Yes. And the amount of men that I've sat with in my practice who have told me about the problem with the sister. Yes. Who was part of the relationship. The cousin. Mm -hmm. The friends. Yes, the mother. We, and the thing is, we go to each other because we're looking for some support. Mm -hmm. But you don't have to do that anymore. I mean, that's not your only option now. We've got the Black Swan Relationship Academy who mm -hmm. will help you. And to finalize this question, because I know we can be here for forever. <laughs> uh, like you said, have a conversation. Like uh, Coach Yvonne said, you know, have a conversation and humble yourself enough to apologize. And to be vulnerable with him and, and let him know that actually I just felt afraid that, mm. you know, I was losing you or whatever. Um, and, you know, it's really I really wanted to work or whatever the situation is and then give him space. Um, but we don't know your particular situation. So this advice might be the worst thing to do. Yeah. But um, I always believe that if we are prepared, male and female, to say sorry. Yes. Yeah, and mean it. <laughs> we will repair many a relationship. Yes. You know? <laughs> yes. I think there's a lot of pride that gets in the way. Yeah. Um, and what we don't do is own the fear of losing him. Whatever made you give that ultimatum has a lot to do with you and less to yes. do with him. Yes. Regardless of what he has done, it tells me you're disconnected from self. You're disconnected from... Um, your truest desires, you self-abandon, and maybe you've been self-abandoning for a long time. Um, whenever I see fruit, I know that there is root, mm -hmm. and there is, you know, a seed that was sown a long time ago, and a root that was established, yes. and a stem that came out of that. So I like to work backwards with my clients so that if we can go into the root, maybe we can fix the roots, mm. and then maybe the fruit will come out differently. Yes. So it's so much easier to go begging, but maybe that wasn't even the right relationship for you to be in the first place. Mm. Because we shouldn't, if we're in healthy relationships, we shouldn't feel like we have to coerce drag somebody's son up the aisle kicking and screaming <laughs> <laughs> like so many women are just so happy to drag some poor man some poor woman's son up the aisle yes. kicking and screaming yes a man when a man loves you is internally motivated yes when a man wants you he's internally motivated mm. you don't have to drag him yes he will compel himself he will move in that direction and it's okay to say look the way you're moving the way you're acting is a demonstration to me that it's not me you want. And that's okay. Mm. 
but I'm going to go and find somebody who wants me. Mm. And that's okay too. And, you know, we don't have to end up as enemies. Yes. We can still be friends. We can mm. still see each other across the road and smile. Yes. We don't have to cross road. Mm. And what we end up doing is doing these ultimatums and then we have this toxic energy between us and then you go off and, you know, you can't find a new boyfriend, you can't yeah. find a new love because you're carrying all of this harm. So, you know, a little bit of education, a bit of learning, two mm. hours of sitting through and doing a course or four hours or 12 hours depending on the course will save you so much pain and suffering that's so true next question do you want to ask the question uh, coach Yvonne um no it's okay you can go ahead because okay so the question is who is a low value man and that was from six ways a high value woman can look desperate and needy the video that I did six ways a high value woman can look desperate and needy and underneath it was the question what is a low value man 